Dad, the clock in the living room has stopped working. I think the batteries are dead. You're probably right. I don't think we have any spare batteries. Then shall I go to the store and buy some? Honey, I think we should get a new sofa. How about going to a furniture store and looking for one? Okay. What about this weekend? This weekend won't work. Remember, we're going camping with the kids. Hello, residents. This is the maintenance office with an important message. Thank you for your cooperation in the regular inspection of the elevators last week. Starting from today, we're going to conduct a fire inspection on fire facilities in our apartment buildings for two days. When we saw the damage caused by the fires in nearby apartments, we decided to check out the fire facilities again. We will randomly operate the firefighting facilities installed in the buildings to ensure that they operate normally. Fire alarms, emergency announcements, and sirens will go off frequently. Please do not panic. For families with infants, close the doors and windows to make sure that they are not scared by the alarm sounds. Inspection will be from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. Thank you. Andrew, what are you eating? I'm eating mangoes and apples. Would you like some? No, thanks. Actually, I was going to have lunch with you. Are you eating the fruit for lunch? No, I'm going to have lunch after eating this fruit. What do you mean? Fruit is usually eaten as dessert. Eating fruit before a meal is healthier than eating it for dessert. Really? Could you tell me more about it? Fruit contains lots of fiber, so if you eat it before a meal, you feel fuller and won't eat as much. It's a good way to lose weight. Oh, that makes sense. Fresh fruits are good for our health, right? Sure. Eating fruit before a meal also increases your appetite for fresh vegetables and decreases your desire for salty foods. Ah, I see. Maybe I should try it myself. I'm sure you won't regret it. Martin, come on in. I heard you've been to Asia recently. Yeah, there was a friendly match with Thailand's national team. Oh, how was it? It was really interesting. I was impressed by the fact that the Thai people cheered regardless of the outcome of the match. Did a lot of Thai people recognize you? Yes, I stand out because of my hairstyle. Of course, thanks to you. Thank you, but it might be because of your shooting skills. You were chosen as Player of the Year last year. Yeah, it's been the happiest year since I started playing soccer. No wonder. What kind of hairstyle do you want today? I'd like to have my hair trimmed and dyed. Then how about having it partially dyed? It would be more stylish. Okay, I can't wait to see the result of your wonderful work. Hello, this is Jennifer Lee at Happy Wedding. Hi, Jennifer. This is Chris Carter. I ordered my wedding invitation cards last week. Oh, Mr. Carter, did you see the draft design of the invitation card I sent you? Yes. Overall, I'm really satisfied with it. I put the words "wedding day" on the ribbon at the top of the card. Will that be okay? Yes. I like the two doves holding each end of the ribbon. Okay. How do you like the bride in the wedding dress under the ribbon? That's my favorite part, but I want to change the groom slightly. You don't like the groom to kneel and give the bride a ring? Well, I'd like to change the ring into flowers. I proposed with flowers. Okay, I'll change that part then. What about the names Juliet and Chris written above the wedding date? That looks okay. Can you email the new design to me after you change it? Sure, I will. Hey, Tom! Congratulations on being elected president of the student council. Thanks, Linda. I wonder if I can do well. I'm sure you'll do well. But where are you going? I'm going to the student council room to prepare for a welcoming ceremony for the freshmen. How's everything going? 
Mostly well, but we still have a few things to do. Is there anything I can help you with? Actually, we're looking for a female partner to host the event with me. Can you do that for us? Oh, I'm sorry, but I'm really uncomfortable speaking in front of crowds. But I heard you'd like to make a video to welcome the new students. I can do that. Great. That'd be super helpful. When should I finish it? We'll need it by next Monday. Oh, Kathy, where are you now? Hi, David. I'm on my way there. We are supposed to meet at 3 p.m., right? Yeah, in front of the garden gallery. Right, but I think I'll be a little late. Oh, is there a heavy traffic jam? No, I realized that I left my cell phone at home when I was about to get on the bus. So you had to go back home to get it? Yes, I'm expecting an important phone call in the evening. Okay, I understand. How late do you think you will be? Around 10 minutes. I'm sorry to keep you waiting. That's all right. I'm going to look around in the gallery while I wait. Call me when you get here. Okay. Welcome to Sky Electronics. How can I help you? I'm looking for desk lamps for my children. Okay. How about this white one? It's popular these days, and it's $30. Well, do you have any products with LED lights? I heard LED lights last longer and save electricity. Right. Then what about this black one? It has an LED light and three adjustable brightness levels. I like it. How much is it? It's originally $40, but we give you a 10% discount on the seasonal promotions. Good. I have two children. I'll take two of them. All right. Do you need anything else? Yes, I need two extension cords. How much are they? They are $5 each, but they're not included in the promotions. That's okay. Here's my credit card. Hey, Jane, have you been to Rock Sports Center recently? No. I heard that the building was being renovated. It finally reopened last Saturday after its renovation. It's been completely transformed. It was inconvenient because of a shortage of volleyball courts before. How did it change? Now the number of volleyball courts has increased to four, and there are three basketball courts. Good. We don't have to wait anymore to play volleyball or basketball. Exactly. Also, the shower facilities have been expanded dramatically. That's great. I heard they added a parking lot. How about that? A new parking lot has been built near the swimming pool. Wow. Sounds like they've got everything ready. Yeah, but unfortunately, the shuttle bus service stopped. Well, I think it's okay as long as there are plenty of parking spaces. Hello, listeners. I am Jack Smith, manager of the Hope Foundation. I'm so proud to announce the Fifth Hope Art Contest. The purpose of this contest is to provide an opportunity to young potential artists to show off their hidden talent. The participating sections are three categories drawing, painting, and sculpture. Artworks should be dropped off at the Hope Foundation by August 31st. Submit a completed registration form when you drop off your artwork. The pieces will be voted on by the public. Public voting for the competition begins on Saturday, September 1st, and ends on Monday, September 3rd. Winners will be announced during the award ceremony held in the International Center of the Hope Foundation. For more information, please check out our website. Hey, Sarah, what are you doing on your computer? Hi, John. I'm shopping for a new headset, but I don't know which one to choose. Oh, in that case, I can help you. Great. I'd like to buy one of these Lakeside headsets. Okay. What's your price range? Well, I don't want to spend more than $60. All right. Then how about this silver headset? It looks good. Well, my last headset was silver. This time I want a white or black one. Do you think I should buy a wireless one? 
I think so. If it's wireless, it's easier for you to listen to music while doing other things. Good point. Then there are two choices left. Which warranty period are you going to choose? I think the one year warranty is too short. I'll get the other one. Honey, I'm home. Come on in. I've just come from work too. Wait, you don't look good and sound well today. Are you all right? No, I guess not. I've been having a stomach ache these days. You didn't say anything about that. Sorry, it's been about a week. I didn't know it would last this long. I thought it'd just pass. Why don't you go to the hospital and have a close examination? I dread being tested at the hospital. But it might be something serious. You'd better get a medical checkup before it gets worse. I know, but I'm worried it might be something serious. It could be, and that is exactly why you need to see the doctor. Oh, John, what's up? Hi, Amy. Did you say that you traveled to Hawaii last year? Yes, I went there in the summer. I'm planning a trip to Hawaii this summer with my family, and I have a few questions. Oh, are you? That's great. What do you want to know? I'd like to rent a car there. Can you recommend a good company? Sure. There are hundreds of rental car companies you can choose from. I recommend the one I used, Blue Rental Cars. What was good about that company? Almost every car in the company is a new model manufactured at most two years ago. Oh, I see. Is there anything else I should know about Hawaii? You should use an app on your mobile phone for directions because you might not get a vehicle with a navigation system. Jake is going to play the piano and sing in the upcoming school festival. He has been practicing at home, and on the eve of the festival, he did a rehearsal with the only piano in the auditorium where the festival would be held. However, because he was not familiar with the piano in the auditorium, he had difficulty playing it. So Jake wants to practice more with the piano in the auditorium at night. He wants to ask Ms. Brown, who is in charge of the auditorium, if he can stay and practice more to familiarize himself with the piano in the auditorium. In this situation, what would Jake most likely say to Ms. Brown? Hello, listeners. I'm Susan Baker from Green Family Center. Last time we looked into foods to avoid during pregnancy. Today, I'm going to talk about the things you should remember while taking care of a baby. First, it's best not to put any pillows in your baby's bed. Your newborn baby can have difficulty breathing because they are not able to turn their face away. Dolls such as teddy bears can also cause risks, even for older babies who could climb on them and fall. Before six months, your baby's skin is very sensitive to allergies. Rather than using sunscreen, it's best to keep your baby in the shade. And protect them with loose clothing. Lastly, a baby car seat is wonderful to ensure safety while your baby is in the car, but it's best not to leave your baby in it for hours. It'd put too much pressure on their spine and could interfere with their breathing. Remember these tips when you take care of your baby. 다시 한번 듣겠습니다. Hello, listeners. I'm Susan Baker from Green Family Center. Last time we looked into foods to avoid during pregnancy. Today, I'm going to talk about the things you should remember while taking care of a baby. First, it's best not to put any pillows in your baby's bed. Your newborn baby can have difficulty breathing because they are not able to turn their face away. Dolls such as teddy bears can also cause risks, even for older babies who could climb on them and fall. Before six months, 
Your baby's skin is very sensitive to allergies. Rather than using sunscreen, it's best to keep your baby in the shade and protect them with loose clothing. Lastly, a baby car seat is wonderful to ensure safety while your baby is in the car, but it's best not to leave your baby in it for hours. It'd put too much pressure on their spine and could interfere with their breathing. Remember these tips when you take care of your baby. Jenny, do you have any plans for the upcoming holidays? Nothing special. What would you like to do? I've spent too much time working in the office, so I'm thinking about doing outdoor activities. Jim, does your suggestion still stand? I can go fishing with you this weekend. That's great. I'll pick you up at nine on Saturday morning. Is that okay? Yes, thank you. Do you need directions to my place? Good afternoon, everyone. As you may already know, our school recently held a vote on whether our school would adopt a school uniform policy for the 2018 to 2019 school year. In order to adopt the policy, 66% of the voters, which included parents, guardians, and staff, needed to vote yes. There were 900 people who voted, so 594 needed to vote yes. Here are the results of the voting: there were 205 no votes and 650 yes votes. So we will adopt the uniform policy as of August 2018. The policy will help our student body to develop a sense of community and belonging. Thank you for listening. Lisa, is there anything interesting in today's paper? Yes, there's an interesting article on using tablets in schools. What does the article say about it? It says tablets with digital textbooks should replace regular textbooks. What do you think about it? Well, I support switching to digital textbooks. A tablet is much lighter than a bunch of regular books. That makes sense. Nowadays, students carry many books in their backpack, which probably weigh around ten kilograms. I'm sure that's not good for their back. Definitely, and using digital books would cut down on the use of paper, so it'd be better for the environment too. That's true, but even still, I don't support using tablets in schools. I think they'd be too distracting for students. I know what you mean. Using tablets too much could also be bad for students' eyes. Good point. There are pros and cons of using tablets in schools. Hi, Miss Taylor. Have you looked over the blueprints on our website? Yes, I have. What do you think about them? Well, they're all really nice, but none of them are what I'm looking for. I see. If you'd like, we can work with you to design a new one for you. That sounds good. Okay, then please tell me the interior design style you want. Well, I'd like a mix of classical and modern styles. How about this blueprint? Oh, I saw that one on your website. It has some parts that I like, but I'd want a small wine bar here, separate from the dining room. No problem. We can put one next to the kitchen. Great. Let me think about the other things I'd like and get back to you. Mark, have you finished setting up for James Stewart's book signing event this evening? I'm almost done. Oh, I like the big banner on the wall. I wrote "book signing event of James Stewart's The Trees" on it. And you stacked up some of his books on one end of the table. Then people can easily get a copy to have James sign. What is the basket of dolls under the table for? James asked for it to give out dolls as gifts to children who ask for his autograph during the event. Oh, I see. 
Normally, you put a flower arrangement on the table. Why not this time? Instead, I put that big potted plant beside the table to be suggestive of the book title. That's a great idea. The tree can remind people of the book title, the trees. Everything looks great. Good morning, Jessica. You look very tired. What's wrong? I stayed up late last night to prepare for the presentation today. No wonder you look so bad. I don't think I'm young anymore. My head is spinning. I think you'd better go home and take a rest. I wish I could, but I have to give a presentation at the board meeting at 3 p.m. You're sick and you need to take care of yourself. I think so too. Why don't you tell the boss that you're sick and you'll have to put off the presentation? Well, I think I need to do that. By the way, are you sure that you can drive home? I'm afraid I can't. I'll take a taxi instead. Would you call a taxi for me? I'll do that right now. You'll feel better once you go home and take a complete rest. Thank you. Professor Hamilton, do you have a moment to talk? Of course, Jenny. Come in and have a seat. Thank you. I want to talk to you about the paper due next Monday. Okay. What is it? I wonder if you can delay the deadline for the paper. Why is that? I've been selected as a delegate member to the Youth Science Camp. Congratulations! Thanks. I have to take part in the camp this weekend, so I don't think I'll have enough time to complete the paper. Well, you'd been given four weeks to work on the paper. You shouldn't have waited until the last minute. I'm so sorry about that. I'm afraid that the evaluation criteria should be applied equally to all students. I see. If you submit your paper after the deadline, I have no choice but to give you a low score, as I mentioned. Okay. Thank you for choosing Mommy's Kitchen. This is Kaylee Kim. How may I help you? Hi. I'd like to place a delivery order. All right. What can I get for you? A Caesar salad and ten veggie spring rolls. Okay. The Caesar salad is $10 and each veggie spring roll is $1. There's also a delivery fee. How much is it? Our standard delivery fee is $5, but if your place is more than six miles from our restaurant, it's $7. I see. Our office is within six miles. It's only two blocks away from your restaurant. All right. Can I get your phone number, please? Sure. It's 567-1352. And your address? It's 1120 14th Street. Okay. Your order will be delivered soon. Thank you. Hi, Sandra. Welcome to Warner's Greenhouse. I'm the manager, Mark Allen. Pleased to meet you, Mr. Allen. I'm glad to work with you. I'm sure you'll like this place. Have you ever worked in a greenhouse before? No, I haven't, but I'll do my best to learn anything I need to know. Good. The greenhouse opens at 9 a.m., but we have to have everything ready five minutes before we open. Then what time should I be here in the morning? We work from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. I see. We provide staff uniform and lunch meals. Sounds good. Lunch is from 12 until 1 at the cafeteria on the second floor. Do you have any questions? Yes. I wonder if I will be paid extra for working on holidays. Of course, you will. Thanks a lot for all your detailed information. We are happy to announce the beginning of our 2018 All Things Lavender Festival. Join us from July 21st to July 23rd as we celebrate our harvest. If you plan a day trip here, consider using the ferry to the island. If you purchase a ferry ticket, you can park your car for free in the ferry's parking lot. Shuttles will run every 10 minutes between the ferry dock and our farm. 
Festival programs and a schedule of events will be available at the visitor center. Admission is five dollars per person and free for children under twelve years of age. If you make your booking online, you will benefit from a five percent discount. Please visit our website www.allthingslavender.com now. We're looking forward to seeing you soon. Welcome to Best for You Appliances. How may I help you? I'm here to look for a clothes dryer. Okay. Here, take a look at this catalog. May I ask your price range? I don't want to spend more than four hundred dollars. We have a wide variety of clothes dryers at reasonable prices. Hmm. Which performs better, gas or electric? There's no difference in performance between gas and electric. Gas dryers cost more than electric ones. I'll choose an electric dryer. If you choose an Energy Star certified model, you can save more on energy costs. All right, then I'll choose an Energy Star certified model. What does the steam function do? Steam drying helps to reduce wrinkles. Sounds good, but dryers with the steam function cost more than dryers without it. But the steam function is worth the price. Then I'll buy this one with the steam function. Front desk, how may I help you? Oh, hello. I want to ask about the checkout time. Checkout time is twelve p.m., sir. Yes, I thought so. I wonder if I can extend the checkout time. What time do you want to check out? My flight doesn't leave until late this afternoon, so I'd like to check out at three p.m. Well, we're busy today. Let me check for you. Please wait a moment, sir. Okay. Thanks. It looks like you can check out at three p.m. Good. Is there an additional fee for a late checkout? An additional fee equal to ten percent of the room rate is usually charged for extensions. Then how much will that be? Hmm. You've stayed at our hotel for more than a week, so we won't charge you for that. Do you have any plans for the summer vacation? Not yet. The summer seems so far off. In terms of a calendar, it is. It's now just the start of the spring semester. But summer will be here before you notice it. Now is the time to start planning meaningful summer activities for college admission. Do you really think so? Yes, meaningful summer experience will stand out when the time comes to apply to college. Have you decided what to do? Of course. I'm going to take part in the pre-university summer program. That sounds interesting. I think I'll have to search for a variety of programs to find a suitable one for me. Good. You'll learn that their application deadlines are early in the spring. Really? Then I need to hurry in order to meet the deadlines. Larry is a high school student. He wasn't able to attend classes for a week due to illness. Now he is a little worried about his history test scheduled next Tuesday. He needs to borrow history notes from a classmate and make a copy of them. Then he meets one of his classmates, Jane, in the library. She always sits in the front at Mr. White's history class and actively engages in all classroom activities. Larry is sure that her history notes are well organized, so he asks if he can borrow her history notes and make a copy of them. Without the slightest hesitation, she says yes and asks when he can give her notes back. Larry wants to tell Jane that he'll return them right after photocopying them. In this situation, what would Larry most likely say to Jane? Hello, everyone. I'm your tour guide, Jane Smith. Pretty much everyone in San Francisco, no, everyone who's ever been to San Francisco, has been to the Ferry Building, which is now home to a world-famous farmers market and boutique shops. 
You may wonder what makes the Ferry Building one of San Francisco's most famous landmarks. First, is its good location at the end of Market Street and at the center of the city's financial, banking, and transportation district. Second, is its history as the primary entrance to the city. Before any of the bridges were built, taking ferry was the only way to reach the city. Other than coming from the peninsula to the north, the ferry building served people arriving by train from the east, as well as commuters from East Bay and Marin. Third is the 235-foot-tall dramatic clock tower that has been the icon of the San Francisco waterfront for more than 100 years, and fourth is its function as a community gathering place. For local culture and food celebrations, now our bus will arrive at the ferry building in ten minutes. 다시 한번 듣겠습니다. Hello, everyone. I'm your tour guide, Jane Smith. Pretty much everyone in San Francisco—no, everyone who's ever been to San Francisco—has been to the ferry building. Which is now home to a world-famous farmers market and boutique shops. You may wonder what makes the Ferry Building one of San Francisco's most famous landmarks. First, is its good location at the end of Market Street and at the center of the city's financial, banking, and transportation district. Second, is its history as the primary entrance to the city. Before any of the bridges were built, taking ferry was the only way to reach the city, other than coming from the peninsula to the north. The ferry building served people arriving by train from the east, as well as commuters from East Bay and Marin. Third is the 235-foot-tall dramatic clock tower that has been the icon of the San Francisco waterfront. For more than 100 years, and fourth is its function as a community gathering place for local culture and food celebrations. Now our bus will arrive at the ferry building in 10 minutes. Mike, don't you think we use too many paper cups here at work? Yes, I do. It's really wasteful. I'm going to bring in a coffee mug from home. Why don't you do that too? Mom, my back hurts. I think there's something wrong with it. I think it's because you have bad sitting posture. You tend to lean too close to the monitor. Really? I didn't realize I was doing that. Please tell me how to correct my sitting posture. Good evening, Paradise Apartments residents. This is an announcement from the management office. In an effort to keep the apartment buildings clean and safe, we respectfully ask that residents not store any personal items in the hallways. These items create a fire and safety hazard for you, your family, and your neighbors. If you have items in the hallway, please remove them. Particularly, there are many bicycles stored in the hallways. Please move them to the bike racks in front of your apartment building. We appreciate your cooperation. Thank you. Jane, I read an interesting article about an elementary school teacher today. What was it about, Peter? She set up her classroom like a restaurant to have her class practice good table manners. To me, that seems strange to teach at school. You don't think teaching students good manners is an important part of education? Not at school. I think teaching manners is a parent's job. Of course, it's a parent's job, but I think good manners should also be taught at school. Why do you think so? Because they are so important at school, students need good manners to be considerate of and interact with each other. I see what you mean. Then, what other types of manners should be taught at school other than table manners? 
lots of things like saying please and thank you, greeting one another, and using social media in a responsible way. Right, they are very important manners. Hi, come on in and look around. I heard this store has so many interesting things. Yeah, since I opened it, I've tried to sell a variety of good quality antiques. Is there anything in particular that you're looking for? Yes, I'd like something to put in my living room. Then how about this antique music box? It was made in the 1920s. Wow, it's beautiful. Does this dancing figure work? Yes, it does. It's in the best condition of all our music boxes. It must be pretty expensive then. How much is it? It's one hundred twenty dollars. That's a good price. Yes, it is. Do you provide a warranty? No, our antiques are too old for warranties. That's okay. I'll take the music box. Here's my credit card. Alice, what's that you're making? A family calendar I'm making for art class, Dad. Here's the cover. Oh, I like the hot air balloon you drew in the top right. It represents the hot air balloon ride we took on our trip last summer. Yes, you loved it. That's why you also drew this cloud next to the balloon. Exactly. That night I had a dream that I was sitting on a cloud fishing. So I drew this girl fishing on the cloud. Good idea. Is this tree under the words "family calendar" supposed to be the tree in our backyard? Yes, I like that tree. Then this girl on the swing must be you. Yes, I'm always happy when I'm riding the swing. By the way, why did you draw an alarm clock in the bottom right corner? It means we should have a good day after we wake up. What are you looking at on the internet? I'm watching a video clip of a dance performance. Are you interested in dancing? Not really, but I have to do a dance performance with other teachers on Teachers Day. Really? I can't wait to see it. The problem is that none of us are good at dancing. So you're looking at that dance video for ideas? Yeah, we really need some help. Wait a minute. I know a man who is a dance instructor. Really? Could you give me his phone number? I'll give him a call. Sure, I'll text it to you right away. I'm sure he will be happy to teach you. Mark, I heard you moved. How's your new house? I like it. It's near my office, and the neighborhood is clean and peaceful. That's good. The best thing about my new house is that it's really close to the Green River. Hey, then you're probably going to the fireworks this weekend. The fireworks? What fireworks do you mean? Don't you know that there's a big fireworks festival at the Green River Park this weekend? I didn't know that. I've been too busy on a project at work. I finally finished it today. I see. I'm going to see the festival with my friends on Saturday. You can join us if you want. Thank you for inviting me, but I can't join you if it's this Saturday. Why? Do you still have some boxes to unpack? No, I'm having a housewarming party. My parents and relatives are coming to my place. I see. I hope you have a great time with your family. Good morning. May I help you find something? Yes, I'm looking around to buy a guest book for my art exhibition. All right, our guest books are right over here. Oh, I really like the design on this one. How much is it? It's one hundred dollars. Hmm, it's a bit above my budget. Are any of these cheaper? Yeah, this one right here is on sale for twenty percent off now. Its original price is one hundred dollars. Oh, that one is nice too. I'll take it. All right. Do you need anything else? Yes, I need a pen to go with the guest book. Okay. How about this one? It's only five dollars. Great. I'll take it. 
Here's my credit card. Honey, come here and look at this advertisement in the newspaper. What is it about, Laura? It's about a road safety program at Kent Rescue Service. It's free. A road safety program? What is it? It's a program that covers essential road safety skills, such as understanding road signs and traffic lights. That sounds like a good program for our son. We should sign him up for it. Is there an age limit? Yes, but don't worry. It says here that it's for children aged 6 to 10. Good. Is it possible to register online? Yeah. Which day this week should we sign him up for it? Tomorrow or the day after tomorrow. Then we need to hurry. They only accept 20 children a day. All right. I'll see if there are any spaces left and then sign him up for it. Hello, everyone. I'm Mary Wilson, the manager here at Einstein Space Center. Before starting Einstein Space Camp, let me mention a few things. During this three day camp, you will do hands on science activities, such as launching self made rockets. Please take an active part in every activity. Next, as already noticed, you should bring your own lunch on the first two days of the camp. A pizza lunch is provided on the third day. Afternoon snacks are provided for free each day during the camp. A certificate of completion will be sent to you via email within seven days after the camp. Lastly, Taking pictures or videos is encouraged. If you have any questions, please raise your hand. Honey, look at this website. There are some blenders on sale. How about buying one? Okay, let's choose one. All right. I think this one is too small. We need one with at least one liter capacity. Yeah, let's cross this out then. I like one with an LCD. Me too. How about the color? Personally, I don't like white because it gets dirty easily. I agree. Then we have these two choices left. The cheaper, the better, right? Well, I don't think so. So you want to choose the other one? Yes. It's only $10 more and it's larger. I see. Then let's buy it. Not really. They've done almost everything by themselves. Really? My students have been relying on me too much. I don't think that's good. I agree. Students need to learn to be independent. They should try to do as many things as possible by themselves. I know what you mean, but I'm sometimes worried they'll make a big mistake. That's part of the learning process. They need to experience both success and failure. That's a good point. Well, I can sum up your philosophy of teaching in a single sentence. I'm curious about what it is. Linda, we have to start preparing for our science fair presentation. I was thinking that too. It's in just two weeks. Have you thought about our topic? Yeah. How about the influence of livestock on the environment? Unfortunately, one of the other groups has already selected that topic. Oh, really? Have you thought about our topic? This morning, something came to mind. Nowadays, eating insects as food is a hot topic. How about presenting on that? All right. That sounds interesting. Let's search for some information about it online after school. Okay. I'm sure there's a lot of information online. Definitely. Then, how about editing some video clips to include in our presentation? That's a good idea, but I don't know how to do that. What about you? Kate is a college student. She likes to travel and is going on a trip to Korea during this summer vacation. On the first day of her trip, she gets on the plane to Seoul. After more than 10 hours, she finally arrives at Incheon International Airport. 
She gets her luggage, uses a bathroom, and then goes outside to catch a bus to her hotel. Then she realizes that she left one of her bags in the airport bathroom. She goes back to the bathroom, but her bag isn't there. She wants to go to the lost and found office to see if her bag has been turned in, but she doesn't know where it is. She decides to ask someone where it is. At that moment, she sees an airport employee passing by. In this situation, what would Kate most likely say to the airport employee? Hello, beginner gardeners. Winter is coming, but are you dreaming of fresh greens from your summer garden? Then how about growing them indoors during winter? Let me tell you a few things to consider before you start. The first thing you need to consider is space. An indoor garden can take up as much or as little space as you are willing to give it. For example, growing a tomato plant only needs a small space on a table. Also, using shelves can provide lots of planting room while taking up little space. The next thing you should consider is light. Without adequate light, a plant cannot grow well, and it will soon become weak and pale. If your plants do not seem to get enough light, you need to buy lights for them. Temperature is also important. Temperatures of 18 to 23 degrees Celsius are best for most plants. Remember, plants grown at too cold temperatures may have yellow leaves that fall off. You should not forget about humidity either. Winter tends to be drier than summer. To increase humidity, you should spray plants daily with water. Place a tray of water near your garden, or put plants close together. After a short break, we're going to talk about a few more details. 다시 한번 듣겠습니다. Hello, beginner gardeners. Winter is coming, but are you dreaming of fresh greens from your summer garden? Then how about growing them indoors during winter? Let me tell you a few things to consider before you start. The first thing you need to consider is space. An indoor garden can take up as much or as little space as you are willing to give it. For example, growing a tomato plant only needs a small space on a table. Also, using shelves can provide lots of planting room while taking up little space. The next thing you should consider is light. Without adequate light, a plant cannot grow well, and it will soon become weak and pale. If your plants do not seem to get enough light, you need to buy lights for them. Temperature is also important. Temperatures of 18 to 23 degrees Celsius are best for most plants. Remember, plants grown at too cold temperatures may have yellow leaves that fall off. You should not forget about humidity either. Winter tends to be drier than summer. To increase humidity, you should spray plants daily with water. Place a tray of water near your garden. Or put plants close together. After a short break, we're going to talk about a few more details. How do you like the cream pasta, Jeremy? I love it, Claire. How did you make it taste so good? Oh, do you want me to give you the recipe? Julie. What are you doing with all those boxes in your arms? Hi, Paul. I'm bringing them to the auditorium. It looks like the one on the top is going to slip off. Let me give you a hand. Hello, listeners in the Saint George area. I'm Jenny Henderson, director of the Mona Museum, and I have an announcement regarding the opening of the museum on the eighth of April. The date was chosen as we expected our exhibition areas would be ready for viewing by that time. However, due to circumstances beyond our control, we've been told we must adapt the plan. 
This means we'll not be able to open on the eighth of April. We hope to open the museum very soon, and we'll post the new date on our website after it's fixed. We're sorry about any inconvenience this may cause. Thank you. Sally, look at that statue of a mother holding a baby over there. That's new. I think the city installed it when they renovated the park. It really enhances the park, Harry. Yeah, I think it's great that the city displays art pieces in public spaces so everyone can enjoy them. Yeah, public art adds a little unexpected enjoyment. Right. It also enhances the overall look of the city. Yes, it makes the city more unique. For sure. In some cities, public art even contributes to tourism revenue. Think of the Statue of Liberty. I haven't thought about that. Public art benefits both people and the city. It sure does. Oh, look at the time. We've got to get back to work. We'll be late for the meeting. Oh, okay. How's your back, Amy? It's a lot better. I've been doing a lot of muscle strengthening exercises. Sounds good. You'll be back in shape soon. Yeah, I'm hoping to play in our next game, and I need to talk to you about the game. Sure. What would you like to talk about? My playing time. I want to get more of it. Well, we have some more experienced players on the team. I know, but I think I also have some good skills, like a jump shot. I averaged 18 points and 15 rebounds in the last season. That's true. Let's wait until the day of the game. If your back feels good, I'll consider giving you more playing time. Okay, thanks. You're going to be at practice, right? Yes. Okay. See you then. What are you doing, Tim? I'm finalizing the poster for our walk to school campaign. What do you think? It's very nice. I love the slogan "Walk to School and Save the Earth" at the top. Thanks. I also added the rainbow under the slogan. I thought it would look pretty. It sure does. I drew these three children holding hands on the earth to represent the students of our school. Great idea. The building on the bottom side of the earth is our school, right? Exactly. It looks like the school is upside down. Yeah, I drew some flowers on the bottom right side of the poster to represent our school's green environment. You did a great job. This will really help promote our campaign. Honey, we're almost ready to leave for our camping trip. I'm excited. This is my first time camping. You'll love it. We can enjoy the campfire, the relaxing sound of crickets, and the stars in the sky. Yeah, I can't wait. What have we packed so far? I've loaded the tent, clothes, food, and even the first aid kit into the car. Great. Do we have everything then? I think so. Oh, be sure to bring the cell phone charger. But we'll be camping. How are we going to plug it in? There's a post with an electrical outlet in our campsite. Oh, okay. The charger is in our bedroom. Could you go get it? I'll start the car and turn on the air conditioner. All right. Hey, Nancy. You seem to be busy. Hi, Steve. I'm writing my script for Dream University's English speech contest. When is it due? Well, I need to videotape my speech and upload it to their website by next Friday, so I'm planning to finish writing the script by Friday this week. Oh, okay. Then maybe you can go to an orchestra concert with me on Saturday. That sounds like fun. What time is it at? Two. Oh no, I can't make it at two on Saturday. Why not? You said you'll finish writing the script by Friday. Are you going to videotape your speech on Saturday? No, I can do that next week. But I have an appointment with my English teacher on Saturday. She's going to review my script and comment on it. I see. 
Well, I'll ask Jerry to go with me then. I hope you win the contest. Thanks. I'm sorry I can't go to the concert. Have fun. Welcome to the Happy Land Zoo. How may I help you? Hi. I'd like to buy some admission tickets. How much are they? They're twenty dollars for adults and ten dollars for children under twelve. Two adult tickets and one child ticket, please. And we'd like to take the safari tour. Do I need to buy the separate tickets for that? Yes. The safari tour is thirty dollars for adults and twenty dollars for children. I'll buy two safari tickets, one for an adult and one for a child. All right. How are you paying for the tickets? With a credit card. I can get ten percent off the total with this card, right? That's correct. Here are your tickets and credit card. Have a nice time here. Thanks. Honey, what do you want to do this weekend? Well, we've been working so hard for the past two weeks. I think we should do something exciting. Hmm. Check out this flyer. It says that the Harrison Film Festival will be held in town. How does that sound? Sounds interesting. When is it? It's from August twelfth through the seventeenth. It starts this weekend. Perfect. Do you know how many movies there are going to be? It says here in the flyer that there'll be more than a hundred film screenings. The film screenings will be held in theaters around the Bryan Square. I see. And there's a special event too. What is it? There's a question and answer session with some of the filmmakers and the audience. That sounds like fun. Let's go there this weekend. I can't wait. Attention, listeners! The 2018 Maple Creek Canoe Race will be held on August 17th. People of any skill level are invited to participate. The race will begin at Maple Creek Campground and run 15.5 miles down to Mill Bridge. Canoes can be rented from Maple Creek Campground, or you may also bring your own. There will be a shuttle service for paddlers who need a ride, and waterproof maps of Maple Creek will be available for one dollar. Registration fees are ten dollars for adults and five dollars for ages five to eighteen. You can register on the day of the event at the registration table, which will be open from eleven a.m. For more information, visit our website at www.maplecreekcanoe.com. Hope to see you there. Are you searching for something on the web, honey? Yes, I'm trying to choose a class for Lily and me. Would you come here and help me choose one? Sure. Now that she's thirty months old, it'd be nice for her to meet other kids her age. Let me see. Oh, there's one for thirty-month-olds. The class starts in September, so she's going to be thirty-two months old then. Okay, then let's choose one for thirty-two-month-olds. Which subject will be good for Lily? Why don't we choose a subject that requires some physical activity? She's full of energy. I agree. Let's choose dancing or gymnastics. Okay. What do you think about the class size? I believe a smaller one would be better for her. I think so too. So we have two classes to choose from. Let's see the class times. It's either in the morning or in the afternoon. I think the morning class is too early. You're right. Then this is the one for Lily and me. I'll register for it. Ms. Willis, did you want to see me? Come on in, Alex. How are things going? Great. Now that I'm done with the book report for your literature class, I'm taking some time off. Yeah, about that. I need to talk to you about your book report. Is there something wrong with it? Look at this sentence here. It says. 
words themselves fail to capture meaning adequately, and thus they must be taken in context. Did you write it yourself? Well, maybe, maybe not. It's wrong to copy someone else's sentence without citation. I have no choice but to give you an F. Oh, please, Miss Willis, is there anything I can do to make up for it? Think carefully about where you took that sentence and cite the source. Is it from a website or a book? I took it from some website, but I don't remember which one. You know, you can find the list of websites that you visited on your computer. It won't be difficult to go through that. Goodwood Furniture, how may I help you? Hi, I have a question about the oak table on your store's website. Sure, what do you want to know about it? Is the color of the table on your website the same as the actual one? I love the color in the photo, but I'm afraid the actual color might be different. Well, colors can look different depending on your monitor. The best way to check out the color is to visit us in person. I know, but your store is far away from where I live here in East Point. Wait, you live in East Point? There's a way for you to see the table near you. Really? How? We're opening a showroom in East Point. It's going to be in Harrison Mall. That's right next door. When will it open? It'll open this weekend. Paul is a high school student who loves science. Annie, one of his classmates, is interested in science, but she's not good at it. They're taking a basic chemistry class together, which is one of the required classes in their school. One day in class, they watch a video about chemical reactions. One part of the video shows an experiment using metals and acids. To produce salt and hydrogen, Annie finds it interesting and decides to do the experiment herself. She asks Paul for help, and they meet after school in the chemistry lab. Annie tries the experiment by herself, but nothing happens. Paul notices that Annie is disappointed, but he knows experiments often fail. Paul wants to tell Annie. That it's common to fail in science experiments, and suggest that they try the experiment again together. In this situation, what would Paul most likely say to Annie? Hello, class. Does your heart begin to beat faster when you hear the word travel? Travel thrills us, but not everything about travel is good. Tourism can sometimes be harmful to the environment. How can it be? We'll talk about that today. First, forests often suffer the negative impacts of tourism caused by firewood use. For example. One trekking tourist in Nepal can use four to five kilograms of wood a day. Also, trekking tourists generate a great deal of waste on the trail. They leave behind their garbage and even camping equipment. Some trails in Nepal have been nicknamed toilet paper trails. Next, tourist activities can cause harm to the marine ecosystem. In fact, marine officials in Thailand have closed three islands off Phuket's east coast to prevent further damage to coral. Finally, many valleys are severely damaged for the construction of resorts. For instance, in constructing a ski resort in a valley, rocks have to be blasted and ski runs are made by cutting down trees. Thus, our vacation can lead to hurting nature. Then, what can we do about it? We'll talk about that after the break. 다시 한번 듣겠습니다. Hello, class. Does your heart begin to beat faster when you hear the word travel? 
Travel thrills us, but not everything about travel is good. Tourism can sometimes be harmful to the environment. How can it be? We'll talk about that today. First, forests often suffer the negative impacts of tourism caused by firewood use. For example, one trekking tourist in Nepal can use four to five kilograms of wood a day. Also, trekking tourists generate a great deal of waste on the trail. They leave behind their garbage and even camping equipment. Some trails in Nepal have been nicknamed toilet paper trails. Next, tourist activities can cause harm to the marine ecosystem. In fact, marine officials in Thailand have closed three islands off Phuket's east coast to prevent further damage to coral. Finally, many valleys are severely damaged for the construction of resorts. For instance, in constructing a ski resort in a valley, rocks have to be blasted, and ski runs are made by cutting down trees. Thus, our vacation can lead to hurting nature. Then, what can we do about it? We'll talk about that after the break. Dad, I just finished packing my luggage. I'm really excited to travel to London tomorrow. Good, Katie. You need to double check if you have packed everything, and don't forget to check out the airport bus schedule. Oh, aren't you going to give me a ride to the airport? Congratulations, Amy. I heard you got accepted to a graduate school in California. Thank you, Jake. Now I need to find a place to stay, so I'm reading the school brochure about the on-campus dormitory. Why don't you stay with a host family? I know a couple of students who had great experiences with their homestay. Hi, students. I'm Ann Bailey, maintenance director of Central High School. I'm very sorry to tell you that we've decided to temporarily close the school pool. We found that the pool water was too cold for practice, and decided to install a new pool heater. The last day of service to students will be Friday, January fourth, and we expect the repair to be completed within two weeks. Although the pool is closed during this period. Other facilities, including the gym, will be available for use as usual. Once again, we are all very unhappy about having to make this decision, but we'll do our best to continue to provide quality service in the future and allow you to enjoy swimming in comfortably warm water. Thank you for your understanding. There are only two weeks left for the fall semester. How's your class going, Victor? It's been great so far. How about yours, Susan? Well, encouraging student participation has been pretty hard. Some of my students are too shy to ask questions or share ideas. I know. That's why I have my students do group work every semester. I'm wondering if it worked as well as you expected. It is possible that just a few students could dominate the work. I understand what you're concerned about. Some groups may have that problem, but we can prevent it by assigning a different role to each member. That's a good idea. Then they'll have to work together to complete the tasks as a team. Yes, that's what I mean. Shy students feel more comfortable when the focus is not on them. So, working in groups, they can gain confidence and contribute more readily to the task. That makes sense. I'm going to try that in my class next semester. Why not? It's worth trying. Hello, this is Susan Miller speaking. Hi, Ms. Miller. This is Eric Wilson at Pearson. 
Can you send me some pictures showing the front view of the main building of your company? Sure. What do you need them for? I'm thinking about placing one of them on the website of your company. Okay. That's a good idea. I'll send them right away. Thank you. When I get them, I'll choose the best shot and use it for your company's homepage. That's great. I can't wait to see it. And, Mr. Wilson, can you make the background of the homepage a little lighter? Sure. Do you think it's too dark? Yes. I think the logo will stand out more clearly against a lighter background. I agree. I'll take care of that. Anything else? No, that's it for now. We're very satisfied with the work you've done so far. Thank you for saying that. I'll let you know when the website is completed. Hi, Kathy. What are you working on? Hi, Jake. I'm editing my history presentation. This is the cover slide. What do you think of it? Oh, you're presenting about the beauty of Korea. I like the curved text for your title. I'm glad you like it. What do you think about the pictures under the title? I think they're great. I assume they match your title. Yeah, I'm going to present about Korean traditional dance and masks. Sounds interesting. Is the box in the bottom right corner showing an outline of your presentation? Exactly. I see. Then is there any reason you underlined each heading in the box? Oh, that means it's a hyperlink. If I click on one of the underlined phrases, it jumps to the page containing its contents. Great. And I also like your idea of placing the names of presenters in the bottom left corner. Thank you. It was Chris's idea, actually. And what's this for, the small camcorder icon in the circle? It's a link to video clip. I can play it with just one click. That's awesome. I think everything looks good. Hello, this is Sanford Children's Library. How may I help you? Hi, I'm Sylvia Jones. I'm calling to ask about the volunteer program. Are you interested in the kids' reading program? Yes, actually. I've already submitted my application online. I just want to know when the results will be announced. The deadline for applications was yesterday, and the review process will take about a week. I see. Can I ask you one more question? Sure. What is it? I heard there'd be an interview for applicants who pass the review stage. Yes. The applicants will have to read a book to show their storytelling ability. I got it. Then will you provide the book? No. The applicants have to bring in their own book. If you want, you can visit the library and check out a children's book in advance. Okay. I'll do that. Just in case I get to the interview stage. Thanks a lot. Chris, are you ready for the audition tomorrow? I guess so, but you know I have stage fright. Come on, I bet you'll pass the audition with no problem. Thank you. I hope we both pass it. Oh, I can't attend the audition. Why not? Do you feel like you are not ready? I'm ready, but you know, cello applicants are required to bring their own pianist to the audition. Yes. Do you have a problem with your pianist? I remember you said that you two were doing quite well as a team. We were, but this morning I got a call from her and found out she had fallen down the stairs. She ended up getting a cast on her arm and can't come for the audition. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Then why don't you find another pianist? I thought about it, but I don't think I can play well with someone new. What a shame. But I'm sure there'll be another good chance for you. Hi, how may I help you? Hi, I'd like to rent a moving truck. Okay, when is your moving date? I'm moving out on Saturday, December 8th. Do you need a full-size truck or a mid-size? I think a mid-size truck will be big enough for my needs. 
How much is the rental for a mid-sized truck? The day rate is sixty dollars, but on weekends we charge an extra ten dollars per day. Okay, I'll only need it for one day. All right. Do you want to purchase liability insurance? It's twenty dollars per day. Yes, please. And are you going to return the truck here or to another location? If you return it to another location, there's an additional service charge of ten dollars. I'll bring it back here, and I also need to buy two rolls of bubble wrap for packing. Okay, it's five dollars per roll. Do you want to pay cash or credit? I'll pay with my credit card. Hello, sir. Are you enjoying your stay at our hotel? Oh yes, I love this place. And actually, this is my first visit to Seoul. So, can you give me some information about a city tour? Sure. I recommend you go on the Seoul City Bus Tour. You can visit famous tourist attractions just by hopping on and off the bus. That sounds great. What places are included in the tour? There are two tour courses. The blue line takes you to Seoul's royal palaces, and taking the red line, you can visit popular destinations such as Namsan Tower and Myeongdong. They both sound fun. How much is a ticket? It's ten dollars per person, and you can get a bus ticket here at the front desk. Good. Does the tour bus stop anywhere near the hotel? Yes. You can catch the bus right in front of our hotel. That's very convenient. Is it too late to get a ticket for today's tours? No, sir. Buses depart every hour, and the last bus departs at two p.m. Oh, great! Then I want to buy a ticket now. Hello, employees. I'm very delighted to announce that a new fitness center is opening next Monday. Located on the basement level of our building, it will be exclusive for all company employees. The center hours are Monday through Friday, 7 a.m. to 10 p.m., and on Saturday and Sunday, 10 a.m. to 7 p.m. The center has a lot of weightlifting equipment, treadmills, and exercise bikes. Employees will have to show their employee IDs at the front desk to enter the center. Please note that users need to bring their own towels, and lockers are for daily use only. If you have any questions, feel free to call the fitness center at extension three four nine. Thank you. Nancy, are you still interested in taking an online course this summer? Of course, Bob. I've already downloaded the class list from the school website. Good. Let me see it. Oh, you can't take this course. Courses starting with number three are only for English major students. Oh, really? I didn't know that. Then which one do you think is good for me? Firstly, you have to decide which one you need more—a free e-textbook or essay help. I'd better go with the free e-textbook option. Good idea. Now you can choose from these three. Okay. Well, I think this one is too expensive. I don't want to spend more than one hundred dollars for just one course. I understand. Why don't you take this one then? It's the cheapest. I don't think that's a good idea either. Look at this; the ratings are so low. Oh, you're right. Only two stars. Forget about it. Well, then I have only one choice left. I'll sign up for this course. I think you'll like it. Hello, this is academic support. Hello, I'm Amy Lowell, a doctoral student of the English department. Hi, Ms. Lowell. How may I help you? Well, I was wondering if I could apply for a teaching assistant position. Okay. What year are you in in your doctoral program? This is my first year. 
I'm sorry, but teaching assistant jobs are open only for students in their second year and above. I see. Are there any other job opportunities for first year doctoral students? There are a few administrative assistant positions, but they're already filled this semester. Oh, I see. Then can I get a job next semester? Usually the jobs are offered on a first come, first served basis. So when there's an opening, we contact the first person on the waiting list. Oh, then could you please put me on the waiting list? Kathy, do you know anything about the Blood Donor app? Blood Donor app? I've never heard about it. What is it for? I find this app very useful. It makes donating blood much easier. Cool. How does it work? It's really easy. Look here. If you click this cross icon, it shows a list of nearby donation centers and available appointments. Wow. That's really convenient. In fact, I thought about donating blood, but I wasn't sure where to go. Then you definitely should use this app. It can even keep track of your donation history. Oh, really? So, how many times have you donated blood so far? Two times, and the app says I've helped as many as six people. Terrific! You must feel great to know that you're helping people. Yeah. Another feature is that with each donation, you can get a discount coupon for purchases from sponsoring retailers. Mrs. Hall is at a shopping mall with her friend. She has picked out a sweater for her son and a winter scarf for herself. When she tries to get a credit card from her wallet to pay at the counter, she realizes that her wallet isn't in her bag. Embarrassed, she thinks she may have left it in her car. So she goes back to her car, but she can't find the wallet there. She begins to worry because her driver's license and credit cards are all in her wallet. At this moment, she remembers putting her wallet on her bed this morning. Now she wants to make sure if it is still there. Because her son, Jim, is surely home by now, she decides to call and ask him if he can find it on her bed. In this situation, What would Mrs. Hall most likely say to Jim? Hello, listeners. I'm Bill Murray, Director of Waste Management. Are you planning on buying a new computer? If so, you're probably going to throw away your old one. The waste that these old products create is called electronic waste or e waste. The amount of e waste is now rapidly growing worldwide, but the good news is that you can reduce the amount of toxic e waste. Let me tell you how. First of all, keep in mind that your old computer may not be trash at all, it can be upgraded pretty easily. It's the same with your old TVs. Instead of throwing them in the trash, you can donate your old electronics to those who can still use them. How about cell phones? Do you know three million cell phones are thrown away every week? In fact, cell phones are made with precious metals, copper, and plastics, all of which can be reused to make new products. What about large appliances like refrigerators? You can contact local recycling centers and they will pick them up at no charge. Old refrigerators have steel that can be made into cars. By doing these small things, you can make a big difference. 다시 한번 듣겠습니다. Hello, listeners. I'm Bill Murray, Director of Waste Management. Are you planning on buying a new computer? If so, you're probably going to throw away your old one. 
The waste that these old products create is called electronic waste or e-waste. The amount of e-waste is now rapidly growing worldwide. But the good news is that you can reduce the amount of toxic e-waste. Let me tell you how. First of all, keep in mind that your old computer may not be trash at all. It can be upgraded pretty easily. It's the same with your old TVs. Instead of throwing them in the trash, you can donate your old electronics to those who can still use them. How about cell phones? Do you know three million cell phones are thrown away every week? In fact, cell phones are made with precious metals, copper, and plastics, all of which can be reused to make new products. What about large appliances like refrigerators? You can contact local recycling centers, and they will pick them up at no charge. Old refrigerators have steel that can be made into cars. By doing these small things, you can make a big difference.